Think about you when I'm making a mistake. Welcome back to my shop. I've been a miss for a while, and uh, some of you might know from my my Facebook that I've been uh, doing a show. Well, not a show; it was a fair, and uh, I was there for a week, turning and uh, selling my stuff. And I didn't have much time to plan for that fair, so I took the time and prepared the stands for displaying things on and everything I needed around it and it, it took up all of my time so there were no videos for a little while but now I'm back in my shop everything is set up again and we're ready to make beautiful things once more so what I have here today as you can see from the beautiful beautiful color of the moss on the wood is a piece of olive branch now this was given to me uh, by a guy at the fair and uh, he brought it in from his house, from his garden and uh, he commissioned me to make something beautiful for him he didn't say what, he told me to to just take my pick and uh, do whatever I want with it and uh, since I've noticed that him and his family were were very impressed by the emerging form, forms that I've made, if you remember the the emerging goblet and the emerging vase I thought it would only be fitting to prepare an emerging form for for him from this piece of olive and uh, since we are in Italy and they are Italian I only thought it fitting that what we'll do today is an emerging wine bottle I didn't want to take your honor away just another toy to me, discarded praying. I, I didn't want to hear you crying today, but everything is what it is, and you won't stay in pain for long. No, you are strong. Shiver like an earthquake shaking your heart You crack a fissure exposing every inch of your deepest part And I, I never meant to make you crumble apart But you have got a life ahead so go and Okay, so the piece is now cut and straight on both ends As you can see some of the spalting and coloration here and of course also here in the crotch side now I'm going to reverse mount it in the same way so I will be able to create the mortise here at the bottom so I will, I will be able to chuck this into my jaws Start to
general shape of our would-be bottle and this is my least favorite part which is drilling the hole and the reason for that is that olive is very dense and the grain goes every which way so I had very poor success so far with drilling olive Construction pay New descent another layer Miles down Bumps of devil's tongue Good lord, good lord, good lord Look at my wise to drink and turn and also I don't like wine so that's that I'm just going to use it as a reference for the shape of the bottle shape of the bottle all turned and done now as always our favorite part sending this down and then oiling it up
Well, we have the piece sanded down to 320 and I will give you a better look in a second once I get my hands gloved. It's very, very nice grain patterns going here. There's some bark left over here. I think the shape came out really, really pleasing in its form. And we're ready to oil this up and make the grain pop. Okay. While I'm doing this, I would like to say a few words about sanding paper. Now, one of the first thing I've uh, learned, I think it was uh, Carl Jacobson that I've heard first say that, but what he said is that you should use sandpaper like it doesn't cost anything, like you're not paying for it. Don't be stringy, use as much as you need to get the results that you're looking for. And after a few years of turning, I've noticed that there's sandpaper and there's sandpaper. And uh, I'm not in the position to afford the most expensive, best sandpaper on the market. And when you come to think about it, it's only a paper with some particles on it. What is the big difference between a cheap uh, sandpaper and an expensive sandpaper? Well, the difference is huge. Uh, I think in the end, when you look at it, if you need to use a certain quantity of sandpaper to send a piece to the desired effect, uh, and you need, and if you're using a low quality sandpaper, you will use double or third or three times the amount of uh, of high quality sandpaper. Uh, it's it's a world of difference. It's also time-consuming to sand with uh, inadequate sandpaper. Uh, I, I'm not saying that anyone should go, that everyone should go and invest in uh, high-quality sandpaper, but if you can and it's available to you, it is much more recommended than cheap sandpaper. Now, uh, a friend of mine uh, from the US that uh, works for 3M, Christopher, he sent me uh, a few packages of uh, high-quality sandpaper and let me show you for a second so just as an example this is the 3m sandpaper 240 grit and this is the cheapest sandpaper i could find uh, in the area where i live also 240 and right now i'm with glove but if you just touch the sandpaper, you can feel that this one is obviously much thicker, it's on a thicker backing paper, it's going to be more comfortable to work with, but when you actually sand with those two, you can see the difference, you can see the amount of material that is being uh, sanded away from uh, the wood while using this cheap sandpaper, and again I'm not saying don't buy cheap sandpaper, if, if you can't afford anything better, you do it and Truthfully, I can't afford anything better. I do buy the cheapest sandpaper I can, which means I use a, I use a lot more than I should, and it takes more to more time to sand than uh, normally. But I simply cannot afford the higher quality sandpaper. I've done some cal calculations, and it does come a little bit cheaper with these, even though I spend more time doing so. So. It's just an it, it's just an economic decision at the moment, but but this paper, when run over the wood when it's spinning, the amount of material that comes off it and the the finish that it gives to the wood, it's completely different. It's really completely different. And uh, first of all, I want to I want I want to thank Christopher for sending me this high quality sandpaper. And like I discussed with him, none of us are uh, sandpaper uh, scientists, so I don't know in the end what is the real difference in the process of making. Maybe the particles are stronger from a different material, maybe the, 
the glue used for gluing the particles to the paper is different and it's stronger and it's better. We don't know exactly what is the difference, we just know that in the field when you're sanding the high quality sandpaper does a much better job than the low quality sandpaper. Again, that said, if you can only afford the cheap stuff, it will do the work, only it will take uh, longer to achieve the same result. And as you can see, it takes a few seconds for the oil to penetrate the wood but it makes the darker parts of the grain so much darker and it actually shows up more grain patterns where you didn't think there were but there actually are different grains, different directions Track like fire, fire see me through. Pick the right train, I could be rolling, rolling back to you. There it is. Our emerging wine bottle made out of olive. A commissioned piece. This is the right train. Is the right train I hope you enjoyed this week's video and I hope to see you back in my shop really soon See me through Pick the right train I could be rolling, rolling back to you Take it my way, see my face Well, it's shot, no